I'm Kitty Liddy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a watercolour piece and um, it's a drawing based on um, St David's Day which is a well-known day in, um, in Wales. And I'm using um, the watercolours that I'm using for this were the Winsor & Newton um, professional watercolours and the Schmincke watercolours. Um, I did um, like take some watercolours out in advance and I thought I was going to use those Cotman watercolours I have on the right but I ended up not using them all at all so I put those away later and you'll also see um, later that um, that um, I do the background in in um, cow and dash gouache cakes in two yellow ones um, I also um, decided that because I thought this um, I imagine this image to be quite vibrant and quite quite bright, which is why um, I inked it in um, some some brown um, Faber Castell pit pit fine liners. Well, I used to brush no one. Um, can't remember her um the um. I think it was Sanguian. Don't know how to pronounce it. But it was one of the warmer, lighter brown ones. It was lighter than um than the sepia ones. And um so um because this is um based on Saint da Saint David's Day, um I included um the daffodil, which is the national flower of Wales. And the character that I also used in this, um she's um an original character of mine and she's also Welsh. And her name is um, Avon, which translates to river in Welsh, or so um, I looked up. I was born and raised in Wales, but I sadly never got to learn the... Um, well, I did get to learn in, um, the language, but I never got to learn it fluently. I was on the English side um, when I was in school. So um, regarding Avon, she's, um, she's a character from one of my original projects, um, the second one that I came up with. Um, during my college years, I think it was my yeah my first college year, and um, it's a steampunk Victorian um project here called Ties of Ties That Grind, and she's more of a um minor or secondary supporting character because she's never alive in the actual story. She's only um, she's only in um flashbacks and um, in past tense scenes. And she's actually the um the mother of the um the story's protagonist. So um her story is um when she was in her late teens or early twenties, um she lived at, she was um she lived in a in a little Welsh village just outside um a town. And um um on an ordin any ordinary day she um she meets her future husband um uh, and David when he when he crashes his plane into her village. So he she takes him she takes him home with to um nurse him back to health with her parents. And while he's um recovering from his injuries and repairing his his plane they spend a lot of time together. And then um they gradually form a romance and when he's healthy again and when his um when his plane is back to normal, the two marry in her village and then he takes her back into town with her. And a few years later they have their first child together, which is Nikki. And um well her name was Nicole but she prefers to be called Nikki. And then she also has um a second child which is Johnny. Who was originally Jonathan, but he's mainly referred to as Johnny. Unfortunately, she died um when um when she gave birth to Johnny. So David had to look after her by him, uh, both he had to look after both of his kids by himself. And um, um we got um. One of the themes um in um this this story is that um. Avon is um since Avon is Welsh and um David is an English character, um 
both um, Johnny and Nicky, he were um, were some were half half Welsh, half English characters, and growing up they had they went through a bit of trouble with it, which is kind of based on my own experience, but we won't talk about that. Um, even even after death, um, Avon was well loved by her family, especially David and Nicky that actually got to know her. And Johnny, um, he's quite upbeat. He's a lot like Avon as well. He especially has her eyes, but he also feels very guilty about um, about being the, the quote unquote cause of her death. But um. Thankfully, his, neither his dad or his sister blame him, which is nice. But Johnny, on the other hand, um, he has a kind of a somewhat self-loathing feeling about it. Which is one of the main themes and hopefully going to be part of his character arc. I'll hopefully get around to drawing um, the ties of grind characters at a later date. Okay, um... What else can I talk about? Um, oh yeah, um, that, um, that bandana that, um, Avon is wearing there, um, Nikki eventually wears that as a memento of, of, um, of her mother. And, um, and Nikki does actually look a lot like Avon, and almost a spitting image. The only difference is, um, well, you can't see here, but Avon has a low ponytail, and Nikki has it in a high ponytail. And um, Nikki is a is a bit more, more tomboyish. Whereas Avon, she is also quite like tomboyish, or at least she was when she was younger. But she's a bit more um. She got a bit more calmer as she grew older. Especially when she got married and became a mother. And, um, what else? Sorry, trying to think about what to say. Eh. Oh, yeah. Um, when, um, when I was making, when I was, um, painting this, um, there's quite a bit of trial and error. Which is odd, because I've used watercolours quite a while, but I suppose, who's, um, I suppose it's been a while since I've used watercolours at this size paper. I mean, this is um, a Winsor & Newton watercolour paper. Can't remember what it was called. I think it's the Professionals, the, the new one that they made. And this is my first time using it. And it's been a while since I've used a watercolour on something this size. And... Um, well... I think I kind of messed up on the skin colour a little bit because um, in her her face and neck it looked a little too dark for her hands. So um, after I finished filming I had to um, go over the hands again and now I think the hands are darker than the face so I went over the face again. And I think the face is still too, is now too light now. But I wanted to get it over and done with. I also forgot to um, add her freckles afterwards, so I, I went over that after I finished filming. And I also went over some of the lines again, because I felt like um, they kind of got covered by the, um, by the paints. So I had to redo that. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, when I was designing Avon as well, I did base her um, her clothes on traditional Welsh Welsh home clothing as well. Um, I'm not sure if they still do it now because it was years ago. But when um when I was little, whenever it was Saint David's Day, we usually dressed up uh, in traditional Welsh cl Welsh clothes. Yeah, I still have my hat, and it just barely fits me. So yeah, doing the um doing the background there. I've always been terrible at backgrounds. Absolutely terrible. So I just thought, um, I wanted this to be a nice, bright, bright, um, a nice, bright image. So um, I thought, I'll oh, give it some yellow. Um, and because I think this image is quite warm as well in colours, 
by the more reds, yellows and a warm green. Ah oh, yeah, and the blush. Um, the first time I put the blush on I wasn't quite satisfied so um, I went over again and then I thought I did them too much. But as it dried it got a little bit better. Just adding in some shades. Um, I was um I did think about maybe adding some markers in this for a bit more shading, but I decided against it. So because I wanted to um I wanted to see how um how I do um with just watercolors for now. Because some sometimes I like to add markers on top of watercolors after they've dried. A lot. Of, because um, the trouble I have sometimes is when um, the markers, specifically pro markers, um, they can be a bit too dense and then they look, there's such a contrasting colour between them. So I go over in watercolours again. So I thought I, I wouldn't do that this time to be on the safe side. And I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.